<clears throat> Works. Okay. <laughs> nice. Good. Hmm? You disable screen sharing. Sharing. Yeah. I just wish that it would stop doing that because you know. Spotify, yeah, Zoom no. pushed it through when people started bombing all the Zoom classes. So that's a security protection they put in place. It's annoying for sure. Okay, you did it. All right. Okay. Okay, so okay I'm sorry. Oh my this gosh. is already broken the internet before you even. I am excited. So I'm ready to hear your opinions on pasta. pasta. I'm ready. Let's hear it. Are you talking about pasta? I have very oh, strong opinions about pasta happy. too. So I'm so happy. <laughs> So let's talk about all the pasta that I have prejudice against. <laughs> so, why am I, of all people, qualified to talk about pasta? Well, number one, I eat pasta nearly every day. Mm -hmm, I feel that. Number two, I am 1.3% Italian, so <laughs> obviously <laughs> I know this. <laughs> Powerful. Number uh -huh. three. I made noodles once from scratch, and it wasn't very good, but I did it. So I know what pasta is made out of. Be flawed. All right, let's look at the facts. By your 30s, you should have one pasta shape you venomously despise for no particular reason. This person's is rotini. Now, I am super mature, which means that by 21, I've sworn off most types of pasta except one, and this is my hate list from worst to best. Please stay tuned. <laughs> So, starting off at the worst pasta, and warning, I tried so to put it in so many different types of pastas, but there's too many, so this is a very edited down list to the most important ones, in my opinion. <laughs> Rotelli, I hate this, nay, I despise it. This is not real pasta, I've never seen it in real life. Also, who wants to eat a wheel? No. I do. <laughs> oh, oh Get out of here, Alex, leave. <laughs> It's a <laughs> pasta needs to be in stick shape. It doesn't clean any sauce or cheese. It's for rich people and I don't like it. <laughs> Next. Oh my God. Tortellini. I just hate mm -hmm. the tortellini. I have no reason for it. It's one of those incomprehensible hates that you know don't make any sense, but is also not hurting anyone, so I'm not gonna change my opinion. It, it might hurts be the texture or how the tip is always undercooked, but I hate tortellini and I don't like the stuffing. <laughs> I've never even heard beautiful. of that. You've never heard of tortellini? I didn't oh, know I, that existed. <laughs> oh, I like no, tortellini. Tortellini is the best. Oh, in my opinion. Oh, so. shit. Like, You're both <laughs> <bad. Tortellini and laughs> my opinion is God, and right now. <laughs> my I'm gonna, I'm, the I'm Elbow macaroni. Excuse it's me? Overcooked as the same thickness of a worm. Few times I, I've eaten macaroni while completely in a good place. Macaroni is the food of a depressed ass bitch or a poor ass bitch. What Most if I'm of both? Times, putting tuna in it, it can save it, but why mess with something that's so, so broken? I didn't realize this was going to get heated and that I have actual opinions about this, Dude, so thank you. I feel attacked. <laughs> Ding dong. Yeah, I love macaroni. Holy crap. It has the thickness of a worm. I can't. It's about the it. thickness. It's about the mouthfeel. I don't yeah, like I the mouthfeel. It's overcooked all the time. I've never eaten okay, it. Okay, that's true. Michelle, I'm so glad you're recording this. I'm so shook. <laughs> all right, next. Standard noodles. Too thick. Also reminds me of worms. You can blame my sister. She's the one who told me it was worms when I was five, and I've never gone over that. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Fusellini. I have a mm. lot of problems with this one. First, the name. It's weird. No one calls it that. We all call it the twirly one. I know that. Second, my mom always buys the multicolored bag, and I do not trust pasta that is not yellow as a banana. <laughs> Third, my mom uses this pasta exclusively for cold pasta dishes, and I hate cold pasta. Hooray. Okay, I, I feel that. I hate cold yeah. pasta, too. Yeah, I'm done with that. Good, good. Finally getting some good feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Zidi, boring, forgettable, who is she? She's the ugly sister to a true queen. Zidi is smooth with no grooves for the sauce, and it looks sad. Absolutely no spice going on with those flat ass edges. It is the food of toddlers. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this so funny? This is literally amazing. Okay, Conchichili Giatti, or whatever that stupid name is, 
The name is too fancy for shell pasta. We all know it's just shell pasta. <laughs> it's too small and it slips off the fork way too easily. Also, the ridges in it are not big enough for sauce. And I will stand by that fact. You eat it with a fork? Excuse me, yeah. you spoon that. So, sorry, I got a parental unit interfering 30 seconds. You're also supposed to like drench it in sauce and then just kind of spoon it into your mouth from directly from the bowl. Yeah, you just go like this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maximum Yo, sauce. I'm gonna make that and I'm gonna send you a picture just to spike Back now, sorry. Also, no, I want pasta. I tapped them from crabs, which makes me sad. <laughs> oh. All right, moving on. This is sort of the middle of the pack, by the way. We're moving up now. We're seeing better things. We're seeing pasta that should be eaten on a daily basis. Okay. But there is only one favorite. Next, ravioli. I have mixed feelings. The first couple bites are good, but then it gets boring. I also hate how much extra plain noodle is around it. You know, there's only that small pocket of meat in the center, and I need more. Just like how Hot Pockets are superior to this for that exact reason. Also. Isn't the Chef Boyardee ravioli can the one that rolls home in the commercial that the parents don't buy the poor starving child? And I Googled it and I was correct. I just need you guys to know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never had Chef Boyardee. Ooh. I lived off that stuff for like a month just because it was cheap and easy. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's memed a lot and I like that. I like <laughs> meme points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Angel hair. Too thin, not noodle enough for the price you are getting, and it feels like I'm eating nothing. On the bright side, my mom let me chomp on raw angel hair while she cooked it, and it had a pretty good crunch. That's because you're not eating it right. You have to just get as much as possible, then eat it <laughs> Well, see, I just dumped a shit ton of cheese in there. Is someone vacuuming? Okay. All right, I ate my one piece of angel hair. Did you guys see it? I was very Are you eating it? Oh, the raw angel. Oh, you were oh. eating. <laughs> I told you, my mom would let me chomp on it as a child, and I found this very important. Chocolate on it, it's like your own. I mean, I've had raw pocket. pasta a few times just to eat it, so I guess I see where you're coming from. No, cook it. No. All right, let's move on. Honey shaped macaroni, definitely oh, the sure. best. Because I could not eat elbow macaroni. This was the next best for my macaroni needs. Also, who doesn't want to eat shaped assortments of macaroni? My, that one in the upper left is quite <laughs> fascinating. Mac and cheeses. I can't even deal. Mac and cheese. I wonder if what people mean by the body of Christ. <laughs> Farfalle. Yes. Oh, 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 wow. You like this more than me. I the, Okay, I have opinions on this pasta. Well, let me finish and then you may have your second. So it's All definitely right. not bad. In fact, it was my go-to pasta for a while, but then I had a traumatic experience that, well, I need to talk about my therapist first before I say more here. Anyway, it's too pretentious and I don't like the wide surface area. You may continue, sir. Surface oh, area. I just, every time I make it, no matter how long I cook it for, the little pinched midsection always is never as soft as the outer parts and I just have never felt that. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting point. You're right. right. That That is interesting. However, I will keep it on my spot because I ate it for a very long time. All right, you good. All right, next. Lasagna. Okay, mm -hmm. it's often kind of thick, and my mom undercooked it a lot, so it's only good if it's made in a restaurant. But <laughs> it's so, so good when I eat it at a restaurant. I'm pretty sure it's the melted cheese, though, and not actually the pasta itself that I like. But when you buy into lasagna and it crunches, I cry. I do not like lasagna. I can't. I've never been a fan. Lasagna's okay. <laughs> I actually like lasagna. Anyway. Can you chime in? <laughs> I didn't like this one. This one wasn't good. Are you eating them as? I didn't even realize you were doing that. <laughs> this is like A plus. This is. Ramen. First of all, I fucking love soup. And this is the only real soup on this list. So honestly, instantly it's the second best. But it's a sketchy, sketchy boy because I do love the supreme crunch of eating it raw and the supreme fear of, of watching people being scared by when I eat it raw. However, if you let it soak too long, it becomes ruined. Your mom's going to come home and just see all this pasta out. <laughs> Actually, my mom suggested this idea and she said she would buy me all the pasta on my list if I asked. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. She's great. She's funding this. <laughs> I love it. It's been this one's sponsored. Off, by the way. Sponsored by mom. 
fettuccine. I love mm -hmm. flat noodles, no worm feelings at all. Also, fettuccine alfredo is a top good meal, but there isn't too much more to say after that. It's just good, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like mm -hmm. special. Mm -hmm. And now, can you guess number one from my list? An egg. Wait, wait, wait. Did you talk about it already? No. It's no. an egg. I'm calling it now. I don't even Sorry. know the different yes, types. Yes. Fuck, I don't know. Can I back up Sydney? It's penne. <laughs> yeah, we'll just jump on Sydney's ticket here. We're, we're all going to take wrong. that train. <laughs> so, all right. Careful. The number one is penne. It's oh, got you. Hey. Hey. On every single prong of my fork, I can eat it with chopsticks and penetrate it with such stick. I, the I farm and cheese can easily go inside. No mess. There's long noodles with slanty sides and grooves, which made it better than ZD could ever hope to be. Oh, shit. She no, was good. <laughs> Yo, I want to This horrible mention for the worst. <laughs> Fucking SpaghettiOs! Remember <laughs> how at the beginning I shaved for Tally for being wheel shaped? Well, this shit was always mushy and tasted fake and is generally unappetizing to look at. I know this is mostly a brand thing. But the pasta, but like, I just really need people to know how much I hate SpaghettiOs. It always felt like soup more than a pasta. Yeah, it was so mushy. It's just like, all right, let's just put it in a blender and make it liquid. Like, let me just drink my SpaghettiOs. Like, the pasta sauce, it's not even pasta sauce. It just like drips off the noodle. If you call yeah. it here. Glad we're in agreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that definitely. Hold on. So a lot of pasta was missing from this list. And for that, I apologize. But honestly, there were a lot of similarities between them. Now here's something only a real Italian can tell you. Like me, 1.3% Italian. This is something only I can tell you. Okay. It doesn't even matter what pasta you like since they all taste the same, but it's really just like a shape thing. I like it. God damn it, do I hate Rotelli. There's no way anyone could convince me it's as good as penne, so I guess my own moral of the story doesn't matter. Now for my final message. If you don't eat your pasta al dente, I won't hesitate to kill you because... <laughs> because it... <laughs> Soft pasta makes me want to vomit. It's so gross. You need to have some strength to it. Otherwise, what's the point of eating it? It's basically mush. I will kill you on sight. My brain is applauding this. I love it. Coming to my Talk, please stay with <laughs> uh, I love it. All right. And that is my presentation. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, I never thought about that. Fuck. That's really good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like it. I love it. Who would like to go next? I can go next. I just need to throw a sweatshirt on real quick because for some weird reason I'm cold. So 30 seconds. Yes. Love All it. right. Time. Thank you. One. I didn't put nearly enough effort into my presentation. It's okay, I didn't mind this morning. I'm very passionate about pasta. <laughs> As she munches on ramen. <laughs> one time, I ate raw ramen in front of one of my friends, and then he uh, snapped me later crying because he tried to eat raw ramen, and he hated it so much. And I will never forget that. It will be in my heart forever. This poor boy, I can't. Tragedy. I love that. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Well, let me find it first of all. Let me turn that. Yeah, it's going to be another technical one, so buckle up. But you know what? It's, there's nice pictures, and hopefully, it'll go fine. We love pictures. Pictures are good. Yeah, right, let me find it and launch it. I swear, my computer had like an aneurysm the other day, and it's just like, let's rearrange everything. And I'm like, seriously? Not what? allowed. <laughs> Ooh, I bought this notebook, a moleskin notebook. Let me just say, Ooh. 14 bucks for this small ass thing, but it's so nice. Did you get the, there's a 
stupid moleskin pen, isn't there? A what? There's like some weird pen that like when you write on it, it automatically sends it to like one note because it just like, I guess, tracks what you're writing and then sends oh, it online. I don't want it. I like the joy of just writing. <laughs> I approve. Whoops. I mean, it's a working pen. Oh it's digital. What? So what it ha- it's like a pen, right? And so you can write like on the moleskin, but then it also like I guess I don't know tracks like what letters or like how your hand is moving, and then it just records that and puts it onto like an online notebook. So no. you're putting it. People shouldn't know what I write in my notebooks. That's like a. That's a death note. Yeah, three of these letters. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, today we're gonna talk about road diets because our roads need to lose some fucking weight (laughs) this road looks so weird to me continue okay yeah so here we go let's first start with what is a road diet so basically what a road diet is like say we have a four lane road right we're gonna Mm -hmm. basically take it down to two car lanes and then stick either green space parking bike lanes all in that same right of way what you basically do on a road diet is take some passenger vehicle lanes away and put useful crap where those lanes used to be (laughs) And so stuff you can add back are like bike lanes, parking medians, green space. Um, And basically the point of a road diet is to increase the livability of the area and also reduce dependency on cars because a a primary tenant of a road diet is typically to add bike lanes. So that helps encourage more people to ditch their cars and bike to work or class or whatever. I know Iowa City is literally tearing up three of their main roads this summer and putting them on road diets because Iowa City has this pedestrian mobility plan. So they want as many people biking around as possible, walking, you know, so they're they're really subscribed to this idea of road diets. Here we go. So we have a before and after picture of what a uh, road diet is. Basically, this is an example from San Diego, California. On the top, you can see the old configuration with like you know, all those crusty looking lanes, not very, you know, pedestrian friendly. There's nowhere to cross. Then they basically ripped it up and replaced it with what we have down here. And as you can see, they added a brand new median, made a nice place for people to cross. These businesses got all this patio space back and they made the intersection better and uh, have a higher throughput by adding a roundabout here where there previously was none. Um, So basically, they decreased the quantity of vehicle lanes, increased the livable space. Um, It encouraged streetscaping, like this little patio thing. I think that's maybe a Starbucks or something. I don't know. And then they clearly defined brand new pedestrian crossings and the new roadway configuration, the roundabout, allows for more cars to drive through per hour. So even though they subtracted lanes, more cars can actually go through. Okay, so there have been like actual protests (laughs) about road diets. To me, it's an incredibly stupid thing to protest. It's like, oh, we're taking away one of your car lanes. Let's protest, no. You know, so basically people have two common misconceptions about road diets. One, that they're gonna increase uh, delays for people driving and for emergency vehicles. And two, that um, those road diets, because they supposedly have less capacity, um, causes people not to visit as much because the delays are supposedly worse, but Okay, let's disprove them with some lovely looking diagrams. <laughs> Assumption one is that um, it decreases capacity. So as you can see on the left, we have a, or the, this guy, we have a four lane road without a diet. And because people are trying to make left turns, that effectively cuts the capacity of the roadway in half. So it's already functioning as a three lane, well, two through lanes, so one, two, and then uh, these combine into one turn lane. So it's already cutting the capacity. And as you can see, this road here, after being put on a road diet, you know, they're able to take away one of the 
through lanes and put everybody in the middle here. So they're able to contract that space and it's still the same amount of capacity. And then for people who say that emergency vehicles can't get through, by them doing this separation, people can clear the turn lane in the middle and the vehicle can get right through. So it's actually way better for first responders and reduces time. So here we go. Here's an example of uh, part two about how it drives away economic development. So the prime example of this is Hollywood Boulevard in California because they've got a really ambitious, expensive street plan that I hope they approve personally. So let's see, on the left here, you could see uh, this roadway, uh, how Hollywood is with a two by two, you know, through lane configuration here with small sidewalks and, you know, just your standard street. This thing over here is what they want to do. And you can see how vastly different that looks with how wide these sidewalks are, how much more pedestrian seating and restaurant seating there is here. Uh, there's only two lanes for cars and still more sidewalk and greenery on this side. So and it will still fit the same amount of traffic. That's the surprising piece. But you can see Hollywood, this is the Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, uh, rendering on the right. Reduction in uh, road lanes allows more people, pedestrian space. Widened sidewalks and seating areas make more room for people, which actually helps draw more people and improve the economic situation. And then the same idea with people living in the area, they have more green space to relax and spread out. So. So wait, um, is that like what they have planned? Like yes, this is this is the full no cuts, you know, no modification plan. They're going to, you know, completely rip it up and it will look as close as it can to that. It's still in the public feedback uh, phase right now, which is the frightening phase because you got all the NIMBYs that show up and they're like, no, why are you taking away my lane? This hurts, blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm people who just don't get it and that typically forces design plan chan or design plan changes that make it work well it's worse relative to the you know the master plan that they have here so stuff might get taken away because people are like no i don't want that uh, you know but they just don't want to look at the all the benefits they just don't want to see it but mm -hmm. yeah this is what they have planned and i i got a screen cap of it and uh this is the exact location that's depicted in this rendering because this theater is right there. So you can see the amount of massive transformation that would go on. So uh, finally, road diets provide massive benefit for low cost. They increase livable space, pedestrian safety, while also uh, transforming the functionality of the study area, allowing more people and modes of transport to get through. They do not decrease traffic, traffic throughput and they do promote multimodal uh, uh, travel. This is actually one of those main streets running through Iowa City that they put on a road diet. So you can see that it used to be four lanes. They added parking on both sides and bike lanes. Yeah, Iowa City's really subscribed to that. And then uh, we need to slim down our road network, but honestly, uh, road diets are kind of a gateway to this. This is a former street in London. I think it's like Oxford Street in London. It used to be a four lane, you know, road. Now it's all pedestrians and you can see how much nicer that looks. The end goal is to cut the cars out entirely, but if it's not possible, then road diets are a really easy way to still make a nice compromise. One there we step go. closer yeah. to our anti-car goal. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the, there you go. That's road diets and why we should use them. That's so cool. I wish I love it. Chicago would like do that because there's so much traffic, especially into the city. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that that Jane Byrne interchange makes me cry every time. Mm -mm. Just back to Roosevelt? Fuck no. Oh, Especially yeah. when you're in the city. Lower Wacker Drive saves my ass, but other than that, yeah, they do have to do a lot more work on that. I hope mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. When construction season rolls back around. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not in Iowa City right now because that whole city is just blown up. I mean, everything is under construction right now and it's just like... <laughs> Nope. I am a, just random sidebar. I am excited for the um, mini Target that is now finally open in downtown Iowa City, and that is what I'm looking forward to. A what? A mini Target? Target? It's like a it's like a micro Target. Here, wait. I'll show you the link. Let me screen share again. I want to see the mini Target. I've seen like the what's it called? Super size Super Targets. What oh yeah, it? this is the exact opposite. Oh, it's here baby. it is. It is open. Yeah, it's just from like here to there. Not very big at all. Um, 
It's cozy. It's yeah, so it's only like 30,000 square feet. It's pretty small. It'll have everything we need. And the CVS in downtown, that's the only downtown convenience store. It's so fucking overpriced. So I'm just glad there's finally some competition. Yeah, no, that's pretty like, good. <laughs> like I personally have had to pay like $8 for a packet of beef jerky because the CVS is right next to the engineering building. And mm -hmm. in a quick fix, mm -hmm. I had to get junk food from the CVS. And I'm like, fuck, if I had a car there and drove to Walmart or, you know, even the Target out in Coralville, it's like $2, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, it sucks. They know they're the only one in walking distance. So I'm, I'm really glad mini Target is going to be there once I'm back. I'm going to stress out a little bit. That'd be nice. Me. Save that coin. Oh, yeah. I'm going to oh, save yeah. that cash. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so there we go. Road diet. Thank go you first, for or do you want me to? That was good. I, I really go. like that. That was interesting. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Dude, All right. Um, mine's not nearly as informative. That's true. That's okay. This is all senior senior prep for me. I have to try and get better at giving technical presentations. Open space. Talk about your passions freely. We all learned yeah. something new. Pastas. Pasty. No diets. Ugh. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see. How do I do the thingy? Uh-oh. What's happening? Let me okay. go. So mine's not nearly as good or as practiced or really anything. I threw this together because I really need <gasps> to show you guys. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't like... centipedes. I'm sorry. I need to... No, no, no. No bugs, I promise. These okay. are all a mammal. Okay. It's a leggy boy. So when you think leggy boys, what comes to mind? Centipedes, millipedes, and spiders. All three things I hate. Mammals. <laughs> corgi. A corgi. That's not a leggy boy. I don't care. They're cute. Any other you questions? The Any other... They do have good butts, but not leggy boys. Uh, no, no, no. Flamingos. Their legs Ooh. bent backwards. <laughs> Wait, oh, what? <laughs> no guesses? None? Are we done? No? Maybe? Mm. The real leggy boys are these boys. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. No, they're... someone. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, they real long. They real long. They look oh, like yeah. foxes. They look like dogs. What are these boys? They're called the maned wolf. And um, before you ask, no, they are not a fox, nor are they a wolf. Uh, just another picture, because I really need to show you guys that they're really leg. <laughs> oh Yo, my god. The 90 percent leg. They've got thigh highs, whatever. It's, it's oh, a wild man. time. I actually didn't look at this. I have no idea what pictures are getting ready to show up, so. I love it. Um, Here's a comprehensive list of information. They're not a wolf, as I said before. They're not a fox. Um, apparently, they real stank. Oh, no. Um, they've been described <laughs> to have a musky, weed-like smell. So, you know, mm. not good pets. <laughs> um, let's see. They're in near-threatened state. So, you know, they're almost endangered, but not quite. They live in South Africa. Um, and because they have to be unique, they have their own genus. The Chrysokion, or whatever. God, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Ooh. Um. They're very unique. They have to be unique. Um, because, you know, that's what furries do. <laughs> furries, stop. Well, come on, look at that. Tell me that's not a first. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. Um, oh that's really all I had, really. I just need to show you guys pictures of these really long legged boys. That's also, okay. they sound really wild if you've never heard these boys before. It's like a war bark. <gasps> My video didn't work. I like how you have my anime list up. What are you looking at? I'm Ghost looking Hunt? At, I was looking for really old, cringy anime to suffer through. Ghost Hunt. Ghost Hunt. What's that called? Hunt. <laughs> Ghost Hunt. Natalie and I binge that. It's my favorite anime. Have you watched, have you watched Ghost Hunt before? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm, is it good? Okay, I'm yes. excited to watch it. Um, it's on my list. <gasps> it's, it's very weird. Okay, yeah. well, I'll have to come back later. <laughs> I love it. Here it is. Okay, well, so that ruined half of it. <laughs> That's because of what okay. it is. It is.
a tragedy. Not roots. I, the wind is out of my sails. Not that I ever had wind in For my sure. sails. It's okay. Um, so they sound real wild, and it doesn't sound like a, a, a word or a sound that should be coming out of an animal that looks like that, but it does. Can you mimic it? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on, be fun. <laughs> no, I refuse. Your family hears you. Sydney, what? My family's in the other room, so exactly. Oh. More pigs just to show off their real long legs. Oh my god. Um, this is literally just an excuse so I could show you them legs oh this is so cute yes they cute babies a lot of good options they i just, just like find one and adopt one <laughs> no I, when i say they smell people say like you go to a zoo and you can smell them it's, oh my God. apparently they're very stank pungent mm. <laughs> yeah, that's how to describe it. They're, they're pungent. It's very strong smell. Like, no, do not get one of them. It looks like it's um, being photoshopped. It kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's real. They're apparently like three feet tall. Can you imagine feet. that running at you? <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about that. I'd be like, what is happening? Coming at you really in the dark is like, what is that? <laughs> You're walking yeah, through the like, alleyway and you see that thing running at you. What do you do? Yeah, it's like two run. foot of legs coming at me. I'm like, uh. How does it lay down? You can't run away. It's too fast. Does it lay down? I don't know. I don't think I've seen a picture. Apparently, they're not just like commonly seen. Oh, here's a little cryptid. They apparently in Brazil found like an all black uh, maned wolf, and these are the only pictures I could actually find of it online. God, Because I think these are actually the only photos of it that exist. <laughs> My God! See, if I saw that coming at me on the right, I'd be slightly concerned because I can't <laughs> see it. Concerned? I've heard that people say that, like, sometimes where like mountain lions are common. Oh wait, I have two of the same picture. That's all I got. But where mountain lions are common, people say like you'll be walking in the dark and then you'll turn around and you'll just see like the eyes of a mountain lion behind you. And it's like, oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get a mane wolf lying down. Lyrics. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there it is. No. They just kind of stick all their leggies out. Oh my god, legs for days. They do have legs for days. They'd be great models. Oh yeah, leg day every day. <laughs> every day. Is oh, look at that. <gasps> it's so cute. Look at the little ears. You just... They have some oh. big boy ears. Yeah, that's all I got. That was really it. It was very disappointing. I just said like, okay, what can I do? I thought, Main wolves have long legs and everyone needs to see it. So there it is. How did I you like find it. out about this? How did I find out? You know what? I don't really remember where I found out. Oh. I just kind of ran across them and was like, dang, that doesn't look like a real animal. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up and it turns out they were. It looks like a Pokemon. It kind of does, doesn't it? It is a Pokemon. There's a fox tall Pokemon. What is it called? One second. Do, do y'all remember that that person that was like in all ways except for physical? I am a wolf. A wolf. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Is that a palm tree? Oh, that's yeah. um, a lolian. No, wait, that's it's a dragon. Like, it's dragon. It's it's a dragon? Okay. It's a dragon type. I just want you guys to know that. It makes me angry. It's a dragon type. <laughs> it's obviously grass. Dragon type. No, no, sorry. I meant uh, I meant that uh, the palm tree guy is a dragon type. Which he is? is? Yeah, he's a dragon yeah. type. That's what I meant. Charizard is not a dragon type, by the way, just in case you were curious. It's probably a fire type. Well, I'm, I'm just going to type in fox Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like that's it is a fox Pokemon. It's called Nixit, and it's not me. <gasps> Luigi? Luigi? Look at the what images. Is oh, Look at the images. I yeah, I, I might have been thinking. Oh, my God. Or, uh, oh, I was thinking of Nicket, the evolved form of, of uh, I didn't think I mispronounced it. There it is, Nicket. <gasps> um, I tried having this one in my sword and shield run. They suck, by the way. Um, it's not as cute as. Dose. They are swi- oh my god, I could have named it Swiper. Look at Vulpix. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vulpix? Vulpix is cute. I love that one. Um, I'm still not over my, my sword doggo, though. I love sword doggo. What is have sword doggo? Oh, hello! Hello. I'm like, it's, uh, Zashian. Sword doggo. <laughs> oh. <What> the <laughs> heck? 
<laughs> he holds sword. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his specialty move is hold. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Uh, oh, it's funny. some really great memes came out of it. Oh my Why god. Is... How did he get in the door? <laughs> I don't know. That, oh my god, that poor dog. I know, it's right? Like... And this one's a photoshopped from another sword dog out. Now, I'm... all right, last time before I show you. And then I'm I... like. Oh. oh. Whoa. Whoa. This dog. That's not a dog. That's a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Sword dog. He's a big boy. Hello. Yeah. It looks so fuzzy. And then the weeb version. What's the weeb version? Yeah. <gasps> uh. I like this one more. That's a game. It is a game. S- weren't you going to buy that, but I told you to buy something else? Yeah, you talk me out of it, even though I want the HD version. Speaking okay. of which, how's Hollow Knight going for you? I had to take a break. So you mean you lost it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I can explain myself. I played oh, yeah? It. Explain it. Tell I me. I played it, right? I played it the mm-hmm. first night, and I was like, fuck yeah. And then I stopped, and I, and I was like, you've been playing for a total of eight hours. I'm like, this is, I am not that far in the game. I'm like, How far are you? I... I just got the ability to shoot. <laughs> You're still in the first area. <laughs> After eight hours. <laughs> anyway, that was it. That was my lackluster presentation. No, like that it. was good. I like it. Thanks. My brother likes me watch. Like, bleh. Matthew likes to watch me play it, though. It's a good game, and it's real sad that you're only in the first area. <laughs> yeah, Shut up, I haven't played <laughs> in a long time. After eight hours. Oh, well. Don't oh, my look. gosh. Don't look. I already looked up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm mm. feeling this. Yeah. I'm looking. Y'all know I really like villains. We know. Thank you. Thirsty Girl Production? I'm sorry. Good job. I did this this morning. Actually, not even this morning. I did it at like one. Because I was watching some anime. So, not playing Hollow Knight. All right. So, when villains are more attractive, I just... (laughs) Base... Round one. Four versus Loki. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Are we allowed to give opinions? (laughs) Opinions when I'm done with my bullet points. Okay, first one, Thor, God of Thunder, hero. Pros, he's Chris Hemsworth. Have you seen the man? All right, his accent. I think I think I put a lot of accents in my pros for like everyone. So you're just gonna see repeats. Cons. You're good. He's an ignorant man child, especially when he first shows up. Like this boy, he go to your room. Okay, he's cocky to the point. I want to smack him. No. I don't even know how old he is. He's blonde. I don't like blondes. <laughs> He's more brute force than technique, if you know what I mean. Hammer. Yeah. He already Plastic. has a girlfriend. Okay. Oh. As soon as he got with Jane, it's just hard cut. It's like, no, you're not available anymore. And then he left his girlfriend, and the girlfriend's like, yo, I actually don't know where my boyfriend is. But that's okay. <sighs> Sydney, I know you want to do it. Final point, he needs to cut his hair. Sydney, what do you want to say? Okay, first, character development. Character no. Growth. I don't care. Oh, growth. my God. For most of those. Blonde, I'm talking fun, about whatever. initial moments. Second, initial moments. Okay, well, that's weak, but all right. You're missing out on a lot, then. I don't, okay, we're talking about Thor, what, 2011? We're not talking about Thor Ragnarok right now. All right, this is, okay. like, old school. The Ragnarok, I'm down with that. When he shaves his hair and just like, oh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's the first brother. We got Loki, god of mischief. Obviously more pros than cons. First, Tom Hiddleston, the man, the myth, the legend. You can see I put all caps as accent. Tall, dark, and handsome. Every cool <clears> stream. <throat> Even if I am bi. You don't need to know. Smooth, criminal. He can manipulate his way into anything. You know what I mean. He's into oh, yeah. cosplay. I'm criminal. <laughs> He's into cosplay, you know, reindeers. I don't know if that's his persona, but 
I'm trying not to think about that. Would I be okay if he's into that? I I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> the smirk. I swear. Ladies and gents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's I single. feel that. He's single. I don't fuck with no no partners. I, I don't want to be cheating. All right. It's... Unless they're like, you know, really holy. But that's okay. He's smart as fuck. Cons, he's possessive. I don't know if that's a con. Maybe it's a pro. Depends on how far he goes. He could kill you. He has daddy issues. Um, but who doesn't? So also he has like he turns to ice, so he probably has cold feet. Like and cold physically fingers. cold feet. I'm like, you gotta wear socks, my dude. Otherwise you sleeping on the couch. I don't know. I don't mind the long hair. He works it. Smooth locks. I feel like he does some, you know, coconut oil. <laughs> or not so much kind of frizzy but that's okay i understand round one is it natalie yeah. may i have a question uh or not, it's not a question it's a comment may i may i add a comment please yes uh, so uh i was in my head i was making fun of you for uh saying villains were better and then i realized my entire last presentation was talking about <laughs> oh no you literally <laughs> talked about james the entire time i <laughs> um, love it i would just like to apologize for thinking <laughs> And I just want you to know. <laughs> Listen, okay, now I have to address this. Villains, they go through some fucked up shit, right? It's like you have a bad beginning. He didn't ask to be abandoned on a planet. He didn't ask to be part of a killer race, okay? He just wants to be loved, acknowledged. Is that for me? I don't know. Moving on. Round one, he won. Next we have Gon and Hisoka. <laughs> From Hunter x Hunter, Natalie, losing your shit. <laughs> Now, I have <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> she dead. Uh-oh. Disclaimer: yeah. I should have put this in the beginning. My apologies once more. Some of the heroes in these shows or movies are not of age, so I cannot give my full address due to the fact I am twenty-one. I don't think of them in a romantic sense. It's just which one's more attractive. Most likely the villains, right? Gone freaks, pros, really nice guy, best friends with Kilua. Let's be honest, I only love Kilua in Hunter x Hunter. Really. He's amazing. Natalie still refusing to move. Is that your hand? It's a pillow, I think. Oh shit! I thought it's a blanket. Cons, he's twelve. We I mean, yeah. can't. Talk. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking chair. Okay. I legally cannot say anything else from a romantic perspective, which I just suggest. Other than that, from a purely subjective standpoint, he sucks because he takes Kilo for granted. All right, he a bad best friend. I'm especially salty from season six. I Kilo cried. I can't. Spoilers. Sydney, do you watch Hunter x Hunter? It's been almost something I've been meaning to watch. I watched one episode and was like, this ain't worth it, but I've been thinking about getting back into it. It's really good. You're gonna love Hisoka, which I'll address later. Anyway, Kilo was better. I refuse to believe Gon. Gon is not the main character. Kilo is, but because of this, I have to go. Because villains are better. Honestly, if I paired Kilo with Hisoka, I'd probably pick Kilo. <laughs> but it's like a close second, so I had to go with Gon. All right, he's the actual main character. Next. He's a good magician. Look at this man. Uh, I, all I can focus in is on that first con. <laughs> yeah, I kept her by ice jump too, and I'm like, wait. Listen, okay, wait. You are jumping in? My eyes are jumping. Oh, I just went oh. right to that. I was like, God. The, the way my head is situated, it's right in front of me. I'm like, did I read that right? <laughs> I was just looking. I was like, Whoa. I will explain it. I got it. <laughs> Natalie's dying. I will explain it. You're jumping ahead. Okay. Go down the list. Pros. Oddly sexy. I don't know why. The outfit. <sighs> okay. I can. The sweet, sweet tango music that plays every time he's on screen or reference. There's, oh my god, I'm going to send like, you guys a link to like... Uh, a mixtape or like a remix of the music because it's it's a bop honestly he's skilled with his hands if you know what i mean because god knows. you pair that with the first con uh, i know <laughs> it's okay it's okay i can't his abs i cannot you can't really see it but he's always like shirtless or naked i don't know why it's always around children yeah it's always around children yeah <laughs> he doesn't do anything okay but i'll explain why he's a mystery we don't really know a lot about him I was gonna put his last name, but I don't really care. What? 
We know he's 26. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's legal. That's what I care for. Anyway, cons. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> Heavily implied pedophile. I can't fault that. That takes, that's really fucked up. He is actually low-key scary when he has bloodlust. So the thing with the Hunter x Hunter fan base community, you start off hating this guy. You don't know how to feel about him, but then uh-huh. you just start like, oh, he's really into kids. I don't like that. weird he's kind of hot has this music always been playing oh my god now i understand (laughs) this is the hunter x hunter conundrum you hate him but you also love him and you don't know how to feel about it i hear laughing in the background that was my mom (laughs) but that first (laughs) yeah that con (laughs) it's a pretty difficult con if you think about it a lot of animes standing naked in front of two (laughs) twelve Anyway, round two, we'll go with Hisoka. I know this bad. Don't judge oh, me. Next, no. <laughs> we have Deku and Overhaul. Spoilers. <laughs> Shit, have you never watched? I'm like, I started watching it. I got through season two, or season one. I'm like starting season two. Cindy, close your eyes. I have to check something. Okay, okay. I, I don't think there's spoilers. You're fine. Okay. You can look. Okay, I'm like in the beginning of season two. Okay, he shows up later. You already know it. It's fine. You okay. don't really know why. I, I didn't say why he shows up. Okay. I just know sexy beast. Anyway, okay. last week I talked about why Deku would be a great villain. And low key, as I was scrolling through Pinterest to find a nice picture, I saw a couple of them of like villain Deku and Overhaul. And it was really cute, but you know, it ain't gonna happen. Anyway, he's good. Izuku would have made a great villain though. Right? Oh my gosh. That was so good. I'll just send you my I'd throw it out there. I'll send you my Because <clears throat> you know. I talked about how we love an underdog story. Smart as hell. He's a little innocent being, you know, even though he's kind of fucked up because he like could play in everything if he was a villain. Cons, he's 16. Please see notes on Gone Freaks Aside because, you know, I can't really address that. He also has like no sense of self-preservation. Like you're just punching people and then you break your arm, but then you keep going and then you break your, uh, I don't know, overhaul. I didn't know his first name until I Googled him, by the way. Kai Chisuke. Pros. Voice. Husky AF. We love a bad boy. He's smart as hell. We love a man in charge. Although we don't want them too in charge. He's damaged, but we love to fix damaged people. Natalie, not <laughs> Is this right? <laughs> Is this right? Is it good? He's got Wait. style. A lot of pictures on Pinterest have like his eyelashes being very long. We love a pretty boy. I don't know. He has like ear piercings and low key. Popsy. Anyway, he's 20 years old. Very much legal. I had to put that as a pro. And trust me, <laughs> far it's been cons <laughs> for ages. Con, obviously not fatherly material. Natalie, you know why. Sydney, you will find out why. Alex, if you ever want to watch it, please feel free. It's very nice. Natalie, yeah, I feel like, I feel, I feel since three out of the four of us watched this, I should maybe do one just so I have something to contribute. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'll send you links if you'd like. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it as well. Um, Loki insane for obvious reasons. Cannot talk about spoilers, <laughs> but he wears a beak. I think Wendy's was it Wendy's or Arby's? You know how like when you go on Instagram and they have like those sponsored ads, there is mm-hmm. one for either Arby's or Wendy's where it was like they made his mask for like kids' meals and stuff. And I'm like, first off, that's really cool. Second off, that's never happened. That's just promotional shit. Third off. <laughs> I need to go to the nearest Wendy's or Arby's and ask if they do that. <laughs> ask it. Oh my god. Anyway. That's amazing. So round three, right? Goes yeah. to overhaul. Next we have Veronica versus JD. Oh. I yeah. <laughs> so this isn't an anime. This is actually a musical number we love that Natalie showed me. So it's called <laughs> Heathers. It's kind of like Mean Girls, but it came before Mean Girls. It's the yeah. version before Mean Girls. hmm So this gotcha. is Gotcha. Mean girls. So Veronica is the main girl. JD is the love interest. They were a couple. I mean, there's spoilers, but honestly, it's really good. Anyway, first up, Veronica Sawyer, pros, her singing voice. Okay, I should have referenced this. This is mainly based off of the audio slash animatics that I've seen on YouTube. 
<laughs> not really the whole musical itself, the live gotcha. action or the film. So her singing voice, amazing. We love the vibe of an underdog because she was like, really? I don't know if she was bullied. Was she bullied? Everyone was bullied in the school. She was bullied, but then she joined the Heathers. She was bullied. Then she joined the Heathers, who are like the popular girls. Okay. And her uniform, it's so cute. It's just like a little happy, kind of blue, little skirt, playing croquet. I don't know why. It's a big thing in the movie. Is it? Okay. Cons, 17 years old. See previous slides. I don't know. Um, she gives up her best friend at a chance of popularity. She's ashamed of her parents. Ma'am. <laughs> she also saw nothing wrong with being an accessory to murders. So kind of down the drain from there. <laughs> she also hears like the voices of dead people. Like, girl, you need help. I don't know. She talks to them. It's kind of like an I see dead people kind of vibe, but reality. <laughs> and then her boyfriend, Jason D, who goes by JD. Pros, he has daddy and mommy issues. We want to oh. help him. Did I put that in pros? <laughs> Wait, no. That should be in cons. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I was going to say, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. That's supposed to be in cons. Pause. All right. He's a precious little boy who needs help because he's just misunderstood, as most high school students are. His singing voice, me melting. Love all of his musical numbers. I'm going to listen to it later, actually. Oh, my God. Natalie, the way he cried when Veronica did that thing in the closet, I put your name in it. I cried. I was like, he needs a hug. I know it's fucked up. But at the same time, it's just like, little boy, you didn't mean to kill her. What? <laughs> Kill her. Context. Do you see anything? No, I'm not spoiling it because technically you don't know if that's real lies, right? We love okay. a silent bad boy. He's like the emo kid who's in the corner who people like pick on, but at the same time, he's not afraid to like punch the lights out of people. Look at his image that I found on Pinterest. Bonds, 17 years old. I, I just, I just, I can't. He murders a lot of people. But, you know, he has, like, psychotic breaks. But that's because he had schizophrenia. It was left untreated. Whose fault is that? Ahem, daddy and what mommy he, issues. Where do you think he has schizophrenia from? I googled it. Oh. Yeah, I looked online. It's like, so I just looked up his name and he's like, he's actually a class, class type five schizophrenic. Oh, but he was left been, untreated. Either the movie or the musical. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I don't really know why. You can find so many things on fan pages he scared veronica when he broke into her house which led to the thing in the closet which made me cry over him he was poor boy he just wants love and that's why i love it huh that's some questions about your um go ahead placement precious boy right (laughs) and very close next to it you have murders a lot of people yeah i have questions can i just do spoilers is this okay just hit me Okay, yeah, so go. he, like, kills two guys who are, like, trying to do the do in the forest with Veronica because it was, like, a plan. So he kills them. Um, but he stages it as if it was a suicide. And then blah, 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 things happen. He ends up killing one of the... He killed the, the main Heather, right? The boss. Yeah, he killed the main Heather first. He was like, dare you to drink this drink? And was she was like, I'm not a kid. And he was like, aha, pussy. And she <laughs> drank it. And then it turned out to be cleaning stuff and she died. And then yeah. they're like, quick, write a suicide note. And then that's how the movie starts. <laughs> yeah, so that's the downfall of Veronica. And then he like tries to blow up the entire school. Yeah, that. that I would yeah. like to mention that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good it's a good musical. Y'all should really listen to it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh any questions? Any questions at all? I, no. I, think. I have concerns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there um, we go. That's more like it. Do I have anything else? Oh, wait, hold on. And those are why villains are more attractive. Maybe I have well, a I, I think your grasp of attractive is terrifying. I, I know. Oh, I know. Michelle, exactly, so Michelle. Nice. Listen, they oh, have moments. We love a bad boy, right? Apparently, you do. I know, right? <laughs> Listen, okay, technically, Loki, he's like starting to get better. He can change. I thought we were only talking about the beginning. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now we're talking about a broad spectrum. He's well, a guy. Thor at the top. <laughs> 
Isaka, there's really no redemption for him because he knows. He's a murderer. So there's no character. <laughs> okay, okay. He's all right. He's like cloud. Overhaul, also murderer. Very bad father material. JD. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I didn't know what to say to him, so. Clearly, I don't yeah. know what to say to him. Maybe I'll do another villain thing. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. Yes. Enlightening. Oh, wow, we had quite an eclectic bunch of presentations today. Oh Good job, everyone. You worked really hard. Thanks. Oh, my God. Are you doing this next week? We should do this every yeah. week. Let's just keep it going, honestly, because even once I move back to Iowa, there's going to be like a week and a half before classes start. Let's keep it going. Yeah, sure. Because my, my other roommate's moving in way after me, and it's just like, ooh. So. No, I mean, I mean, it's good. I just don't want to have to stream Netflix for eight hours a day before classes keep going. It's nice to have some <laughs> uh, verbal interaction. So. Yeah. Verbal interaction? What's that?